Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Shivan and I make videos about medical school and university. If you like my videos, if you like my content, if you end up liking this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, today's video is going to be about, as it says in the title, the truth about medical school. What actually matters when you're applying to medical school and what actually matters about the medical school you're going to. There are a lot of myths surrounding the importance of rankings and prestige and uh, overall reputation. But today I'm going to break down what matters and why it matters uh, about the university you're going to or about the universities you want to apply to. First of all, I want to start by saying prestige doesn't matter at all. The importance of prestige when going to medical school is a myth or the reputation of your university or, or its ranking. All of these things matter either minimally or not at all. The reason they don't matter is because when you're applying to medical school to become a doctor, you need to be fully competent. It doesn't matter. There's no space for variation in competence. Everyone needs to be functioning at 100% of what's required for a doctor. So there's no room for variation there. So you will get more than adequate and quality teaching and a preparation to become a doctor to no matter which medical school you go to. And for that reason, the rankings of medical school really don't matter. However, rankings do include some important factors. Although this is not all that matters, you can probably look each ranking system, whether it be QS rankings or Guardian's uh, rankings for medical school, they each break down the components used to rank the medical schools. And that's something you can definitely look into. For example, QS breaks down rankings into factors like academic re reputation and research output and the international student population these are things that really do matter and for some people and not for others so you want to look into what the rankings for a particular medical school mean and that's basically what actually matters about the whole ranking factor what you need to understand is each university i'm talking about every single university has both advantages and disadvantages. Now you need to find out which university is the best fit to you. Which advantages would really benefit you and which disadvantages don't make really make a difference to you or do really make a difference to you. You need to figure that out. So now I'm gonna start by telling you some things that really do matter outside ranking and prestige that you should investigate about your university before you choose which one you're going to. So what you do wanna consider is first of all, how medicine is being taught. Medicine can be taught in many different ways. And if you're talking about the UK, there are three main methods of teaching medicine. First is the traditional course, the second is the integrated course, and the third type of teaching is problem-based learning. So you, you want to do more research on each type of learning and you want to figure out which one suits your uh, needs best and which one suits your style of learning the best. So for example, I did research on all three and I thought the one that benefited me the most was integrated learning. And therefore, I only applied to universities that offered integrated courses. You might be interested in how much your university partakes in research as well. That may be something that affects you. And this is where the high ranked universities would really benefit you. Because overall, in most ranking systems, the universities that do the most research are given a great advantage over those who do less research. But if you're interested in research, university in medical schools like Oxford and Cambridge, Imperial, all of these universities would be really would be great for you. A number of non-academic or course-related factors that will affect whether affect your uh, choice of university and why you want to go to a particular university as well. For example, the diversity of the student population, the location of the university, whether you want to be in a big city like London or you want to be in smaller cities in the UK. Also, if you uh, if you want a campus university or whether you want a city university 
all of this is very individual it depends upon your needs and wants and it's definitely not something that can be categorized into one system of ranking saying that one university is better than the other so i want to conclude by saying i know that when you're applying to medicine i know what the situation is like what the college application environment is like a lot of importance is given to rankings and prestige and a lot of people judge you based on factors like this however it's important for you to understand and to always remember that rankings and prestige are not what really matters what really matters is that you're going to a university that will deliver you a quality education and that studying at this university is something that you're going to really enjoy and it's an experience that that's really important and you need to remember that you're going to study at this medical school for five or six years and rankings are a really bad way to determine where you're going to spend the next six years of your life because everyone needs to consider different factors so you need to make sure it's something that's right for you i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you somehow i hope it gave you some perspective on what to look at when you're applying to medical school or what to consider about your own medical school as well what's important and what's not if you like the video be sure to drop a like down below and to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this